Hey folks, Mike Wesley here. So, um, got my Flash Forge going. I have a Flash Forge Creator Max and printing stuff. And I need to burn up a bunch of PLA because I have a lot of PLA and funky colors. And um, yellow, I have like bright yellow, I got purple, I got pink. Um, I have a daughter. And uh, when the COVID 19 thing happened, it was like, Ooh, so anyway, I bought a bunch of different materials. I've got PETG and other stuff too, but I'm going to use up my PLA. So um, I got, I have some drones and I decided, you know, I was just looking around the internet and it occurred to me, um, I, I found on YouTube a, a young man who's a mechanical engineer, I think, who's been making airplanes. And I was like, I thought, hey, I bet there's somebody out there selling airplane component kits for 3D printing that you can just download and print. And sure enough, uh, the big one that came up that's most common, I think most popular, is this Eclipse Sun. I'm going to say Eclipse Sun. They're Spanish from Spain, Espania. Um, and they sell 3D printed parts. And they look really good. They're videos. They have videos for everything. So let's take a quick look. So they have a bunch of these um, flying wing types. Go real fast. You know, go fast planes. This is the one I got, the Model D. We'll take a quick look at that. This one is the one you don't want to poke yourself in the eye with. Um, you got your typical stunt plane. Lots of good videos. And the videos have time-lapse videos to show you. Um, this one's based on a bird. Show you the build. So, um, stress tests, all that good stuff. So, you know, I don't know. These guys know what they're doing. You know, they, I think, they, and they look really nice. You know, it doesn't just look like, a you know, some cardboard and duct tape fashioned into, you know, let's win some uh, college engineering contest with you know it's like no this is this stuff their stuff looks pretty good oh the pictures are changing on me so on their website eclipseandairplanes.com and they're not paying me um i click the airplane link and we get their different planes again again the delta wings and whatnot so let's take a look at some of their planes and they have all sorts of cool stuff and what's important is this model d is the one that i bought so a couple things one Oh, the euro. I'm in America. So this one's 25 euros. Cost me about $33. Okay, not a bad trend, not a bad um, exchange rate. This one is easy to fly. That's why I bought it. I have a bunch of components. I have my radios. So I'm going to do the easy one. I, I really am just interested in building it. I don't even know if I'll try to fly it. I have enough stuff where I could put it together. We'll see what happens in like a couple of months. Uh, span 1.2 meters. I'm going to guess we call that four feet um flying weight 500 grams that's super light actually these things are really light in american i'm not really sure but it's uh not a whole lot of weight um i'm not gonna do the math right now print volume this is important so i've got a couple 3d printers i have a flash forge a creator max that i just bought which is about one has a volume of about 160 by 150 by 200 maybe 220 so this one's 160, 160. My, this mine supposedly doesn't meet this build volume, but you know, it'll, it'll work. But for example, if I wanted a different plane, I do have two rep wraps. One's kind of, you know, so I would probably have to use a rep wrap to print. Rep wrap would be a Prusa imitation. So um, if you don't know Prusa, take a look at Prusa. So Prusa 3D. This one requires a build volume of 210 by 210 by 180. So that's not going to happen on your basic flash forge unless you have the big one with the single extruder. Um, so I bought the smaller one just for the fun of it. And let's take a look at um, what comes in. Uh, let's check at the specific page. They give you a really nice video here explaining about it. We get details. You get G code files. You get the. Um, uh, STLs, um, you get some design stuff, you get profiles and things, all sorts of cool stuff. We'll look at that. And it tells you, low wing trainer, I need a trainer. Uh, resistant landing gear, that means you can crash it pretty hard. And worst case, actually, if you crash it hard, you can reprint it. Not like the other stuff. We have some really cool pictures of all different angles. Uh, you can see inside here, uh, inside the, the fuselage there. Um... Each part has weight, so you know what their estimated, you know, situation is. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, I did the math right. Wingspan, 48 inches. I don't believe that. That was a total guess. Well, it wasn't a total guess, actually. So here are the parts. You'll get all these little parts. So I'm printing the ailerons. Numbers, can't read that. 16, 18, and 17. These two pieces. 
taking up most of my bed. So actually, let's take a look at, I'm going to switch over to, so here is my um, simplified 3D, and you can see those ailerons go all the way up to the top of the build volume. So I'm definitely going to have to use a different printer or something. So these are printing right now, and I'm going to cut to that right now. And we're back. So they've just started. And um, let's go look at the files. <laughs> so when I extracted, here's the uh, the download. When I made the purchase, it actually was really smooth. Um, I used PayPal, and instantly when PayPal gave me the receipt, there was a link button, download files. They said they're going to send me something. I haven't had time to even look at my email, so I'm sure they sent me a download there. So um, we've got our. I don't have my file extensions turned on. I think these are object files. I just use the object file. I pulled it into Simplify 3D. Um, I already have my profile set up for my printer. Um, basically, just put it on my, I, I use a chip still, I'm old school. Saved it to the chip and started the printer and it's going. We have um, the G codes, we have LWPLA. I think that must be lightweight, I don't know. And we've got also over here, regular PLA. And I just use object files and it came with some decals and you know you can see some cool stuff so I don't know so depends upon how much time I have every couple days maybe if I have enough time um, I'll show you how it goes I estimate they actually give you an estimated build time of you know it might be 40 to 60 hours so for me that's gonna stretch out over months so we shall see um, thanks if you have questions, let me know. Leave a comment. I'm around. Oh, I reply slowly too. Thank you. Bye.